Hi, welcome back to Buona Papa. Today we're going to talk about eggs and babies. This video is part two of another video that I recently posted, best egg recipes for babies and toddlers. And today we're not talking about recipes, but we are going to talk about the most common questions about eggs, babies, food and toddlers. So let's start from the first one. When can I introduce this amazing food into my baby's diet? Reply, you can introduce eggs as soon as you start solid foods, so around six months of age. Funny fact, when my first child, Luca, uh, he was a baby, so it's like 10 years ago, uh, the pediatric recommendation was totally different. You had to wait up until one year to introduce eggs. Why? Because eggs are still a very common allergen. It means that more or less 2% of babies are allergic to eggs. But recent studies, they demonstrated that delaying the introduction of allergen foods like eggs uh, will not help preventing allergies, but it will make it even worse. So, introducing allergen foods eggs right away at around six months as a benefit on reducing and preventing allergies. That being said, when you introduce eggs for the first time to your baby, suggestion is to introduce a tiny, tiny amount and always check for any allergic reaction. Allergic reaction can be uh, hives, uh, itchiness, uh, fever, diarrhea, uh, rashes. If you see any of these reactions, stop uh, offering eggs to your baby and consult your pediatrician. How often can I offer eggs to my baby? Uh, daily? More than once a day? Once a week? That's a very good question. Reply. There is no medical evidence that says that you can offer eggs on a daily basis to your baby. So it's a wonderful baby food and you can, your baby can enjoy it even on a daily basis. That being said, my suggestion is to offer your baby a nice, colorful and wide variety of foods for many reasons. First of all, your baby's body needs everything. Uh, also, from a developmental point of view, uh, the more foods, uh, the more flavors, the more color you offer to your baby, uh, the higher exposure he or she will have to them. That means that he will accept, enjoy, and also reduce the risk of pickiness later on. So a well diverse and balanced diet is always the best. So yes to eggs, no to only eggs. How long should I cook the eggs for my baby? So you want to offer very well cooked eggs for your baby. Don't worry to overcook your eggs in this case. Why? Every egg, doesn't matter if organic or non-organic, might contain a bacteria that is called salmonella. Salmonella can cause severe illness in adults and in babies. Common symptoms for salmonella are uh, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, fever, stomach cramps. To avoid salmonella, it's easy. You just need to cook very well your eggs. If you cook properly your eggs, there will be no risk of salmonella because the salmonella bacteria dies at high temperatures. And I'm talking about 70 Celsius degrees and 160 Fahrenheit degrees. What about other kind of eggs? So the, the, the regular eggs that we buy at the store, they're chicken eggs, but what about uh, quail eggs or duck eggs. Sometimes uh, I find at the farmer's market both of them. So, quail eggs. Quail eggs, they come from a 
little tiny bird that is the quail. They are different both in size and in color. They are tiny, they are less than half, they are a quarter of the size of regular eggs and uh, they are kind, they have kind of freckles. They have, they are white beige with dark spots like those ones. Comparing quail eggs with chicken eggs, so the same weight, 100 grams of quail eggs versus 100 grams of chicken eggs, there are many interesting differences. The first one is that quail eggs contain half of the amount of carbs of chicken eggs, but more than double the amount of iron and double vitamin B and a bit more fat than chicken eggs. So quail eggs are definitely more dense and richer than chicken eggs. In terms of flavor, they are more or less the same. Uh, but it's also true that quail eggs, they are not very common to find and they are way more expensive than chicken eggs. So let's consider quail eggs like baby gourmet food. If you find them, of course, use them and enjoy them. What about ducks eggs? So ducks eggs, they have the same color and shape of chicken eggs. They are just way bigger, sometimes even double the size of regular chicken eggs. In terms of flavor, they definitely have a bold, intense flavor, and I really like them. Uh, they are not so common, sometimes you can find them or not. A bit less expensive than quail eggs, but more expensive than chicken eggs. From a nutritional point of view, that's so interesting. Duck eggs compared to chicken eggs, same weight, 100 grams and 100 grams, they contain just a bit more fat, but double the folate amount, three times the iron amount, and five times the amount of vitamin B. That's simply amazing. So my final suggestion is that any egg is perfect for babies, a chicken, quail, and duck. But if your final goal is to increase the iron intake in your baby, uh, so in this case, I would suggest, if you can find them, to choose quail, but most of all, duck eggs. This is a good question. Are eggs considered dairy? Are eggs a dairy product? Well, no. A dairy product is anything like milk or a food that derivates, that comes from milk, that is made with milk. Eggs, they don't come from milk. Eggs are laid by birds and birds are not mammals. Mammals produce milk, birds, they don't produce milk. So birds and eggs, they are not related in any way with milk and mammals. Another good question, how long does an egg usually last? Well, it's surprising. One fresh egg can last in the fridge for up to one month, one month and a half. And if you freeze the egg, the little one can last up until one year. How can you check that an egg is still fresh and good to eat? There is a fun way to check if the egg is still good. Simply place your egg in a large glass or container filled with water. And there should be a lot of water above the egg, so the egg should be fully covered by water. If your egg stays at the bottom of the glass or the container or floats halfway, but there is still water on top of the egg, it means that the egg is good, it's fine to eat. If your egg floats on the surface or is very close to the surface, throw it away is not good to eat. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's a scientific experiment. Which kind of egg should I buy for my baby? If you go to the grocery store, you will notice tons of labels. Organic, not organic, white, brown, large, AAA, AA, B, pasteurized, um, cage-free, uh, humanly raised, farm fresh, humanly treated, vegetarian fed, no added hormones, antibiotic free, jumbo. It's so 
confusing. So today I'm not going to go through all the labels. By the way, if you want me to do it, I can do it in another video. Just let me know in the comments here below. I'm just telling you my suggestion, my personal suggestion, what I buy for my kids and for my family. I try to buy organic eggs when possible because uh, certified organic also has other meanings inside that means that there are no antibiotics and no hormones by the way in america is illegal to put hormones and antibiotics in eggs or chickens and the, the, then laid eggs and also means a cage free so for me certified organic is the best choice when you offer eggs to your little ones and to your family. If you have more questions about eggs, food, babies and toddlers, let me know and leave your message here below. I will be happy to reply. We are going to see each other next time with a new video or recipe from Buona Pappa. And remember to subscribe, it's totally free and you will receive more or less every week a new recipe from me. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Thank <laughs> you.